Hello YouTube, Coach Wuhujin here, and I'd like to give you a quick rundown of an underappreciated concept in Valorant, which I like to refer to as gunfight hygiene. In this video, I'm going to show you how to VOD review your own aim duels correctly. Many people like to blame their lost gunfights on aim, and I'd like to propose another perspective before you jump to conclusions and boot up aim labs. Shameless plug, I do tons of free VOD reviews on my stream over at twitch.tv slash Wuhujin every morning. I'm not going to say I'm the best coach in the world, but I'm pretty dang good, and I've gotten multiple students into Radiant. I'd love for you to show up and learn with us. Before we go any further, there's a setting that I'd like to make sure you have turned on. If you go into your video settings and stats and scroll all the way down, there's this setting called Shooting Error, and set it to show both, and then close settings. What this Shooting Error does is, you'll see this graph over here in the top right. When you shoot without moving, there will be these orange bars, and the bars get longer as you get further into your spray. If you happen to be moving while you shoot, there will be blue in the bars. This is important. This will let you know if during a gunfight you missed a shot because of movement inaccuracy or because you missed the bullet. So gunfights can be broken down into four categories. There's the zero to five meter range, the five to 15 meter range, 15 to 30 meter range, and then anything beyond that, so 30 meters and up. For a zero to five meter gunfight, I highly recommend that you focus on running gun or even crouch spraying and walking. Here's a demonstration of that. For these gunfights, the key is that your opponent doesn't hit you. At this range, your bullets are certainly going to hit them, even if you're moving and crouching and spraying. So it's more important to make yourself a harder moving target than it is to aim directly on their head. For gunfights at 5 to 15 meters, we're going to introduce a new concept called two tap bursting and moving. In order to two tap burst and move, you're just gonna shoot two bullets and move, and then do it again. And it's important that on our shooting error graph, there's no movement inaccuracy. You see nothing but orange. So now for the five to 15 meter range gunfight, we're gonna start with that technique, but once we connect a bullet, it's fine to enter a spray. So let's pretend I missed my first two shots, and then I'm gonna connect a bullet. And that is a demonstration of good gunfight hygiene in a mid-range gunfight. For 15 to 30 meter gunfights, we really want to just be aiming for headshots and be fully accurate. We do not want to be spraying. So we're going to rely on that two-tap burst and strafe pretty much exclusively. So nothing but aiming for the head. We'll know we have good gunfight hygiene for this fight if we don't shoot more than three bullets in a burst and there's no movement inaccuracy between our shots. Make sure you get creative with this and don't always move back right and left. Sometimes walk the same direction twice in a row. Then for super long range gunfights, we still use our two tap burst, but optionally we can implement ADSing. We can also use single bullets if it feels more accurate. All right, let's head into a deathmatch and I'll show you how to practice this. So we're heading into the deathmatch now, and we want to be very mentally aware of how far away our opponents are when we start a gunfight with them. It's important we build our good habits in deathmatch, but we need to also be able to translate them over into competitive queue. Which is why I recommend you focus on this while playing ranked for at least a week. Gameplay, bro. They're done. How did this game started? <laughs> 